Yeah, you did. You've got my picture. One's all you get. Are you like cool or what? We'll probably have a movie. No, it's so nice. Well, perfect timing. Amy, Matt, Amy, hi. Hi. That was too funny. Really? Yeah. Well, turns out about six months before taking it We didn't know it. He just stood there and hammered the hot. Once you get into Logan, you can yeah, uh, call me and I'll let you know where uh, it is, okay? So, oh, really, don't feel obligated to come. Time we got done because we had to go over to this one and then we had to go pick up this relative and come back to that one and then we had to. Somewhere around the. Uh, I don't know, they told me there were two in the Salt Lake area. Hey, Nick. The plates, uh, flatware, napkins, and then pick up a roll. The meat is in the two roasters, and then come to this other table here for salads and desserts. Uh, there is a big white cooler over here with soda in it, and there are coolers on the top of our Well, I just quit at them, and I'm looking to get into doing sales for them. Yay! What's that? What is it? There it is. You're getting desperate putting me in there. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. No kidding. It would be. I don't be surprised. This would be really, really good experience. 
really? Oh. Hello. I had, we had a campground right by the little running stream or the roaring stream. Mm -hmm. I had one dream I remember last night. I was working the right path, Air Force Base in Ohio, and the building was flooded and water was rushing through all of the hallways. We kept trying to block the hallway. The drinks are in the white cooler over there. Hi. Derby heads. Who could they be? They're two Mormon preachers. If they act like gentlemen, I'll treat them as such. Howdy, sir. My name is Elder Forsyth, and my companion is Elder Jensen. We're here representing the Latter day Saint Church, better known as the Mormon Church. We wondered if we could impose upon you for lodging until Monday, as we don't like to travel on the Sabbath. We stopped several places, but no one will let us stay. Well, I wouldn't turn a yellow dog from my home, and you're welcome to stay if you'll stay out of the kitchen where the women folk are, and you are not to mention your religion while you're here. Agreed. We will not unless you inquire. So the elders are relegated to the barn to them in the front door of the kid home. <laughs> Good morning, sir. We wanted a few clothes. Uh, yeah, there's a good place about a quarter mile up the creek in a grove of aspen. There's a small falls there and the water's deeper. Just a minute, boys. I will get you each a towel and some soap. They took their clothes from their bags, and as they did so, they took a Book of Mormon after they left the house. Father noticed exactly how it had been laid, then picked up the book and began reading through it. Henry, you stand out on the butte. The missionaries took quite a while bathing and washing their all the time they were gone. Oh, the missionaries are coming back! <laughs> George carefully placed the book back on his <laughs> This is sure a beautiful place. Where are you boys from? I'm from Utah. Elder Jensen here is from Orland, Idaho. Well, you fellas are far from home. You're welcome to rest here until tomorrow. We need to leave a while. We go to the Baptist church. George is a deacon there, and we must be going now. The family leaves for church, and when they return, they invite the missionaries to share their dinner, and George and some of the boys spend the afternoon visiting with the elders. On Monday morning, as the missionaries prepare to leave, they begin a discussion about the Indians. 
Most of the Indians here don't look like the same as the ones we have in Idaho. They are taller, and the Bannock in Idaho are a heavier build. I sure would like to find a history of the Indians and where they come from. Yeah, my pa loves reading histories. It's his favorite pastime when he's not working or kicking our butts. <laughs> if you had one, would you read it? Why, sure I would. That would be amazing good. <laughs> this is a history of the Indians. I don't want your moment, Bobby. You said you would read it if you had one, sir. By gum, you tricked me. When my word is good, I'll read it. We will pick it up the next time we come back through. As soon as the missionaries were out of sight, George W. picked up the book and began to read it. He had Mary get the Bible out, and they read and compared them for weeks. He asked the preachers about it, and they told him it was of no concern of theirs, and the book was of the devil. When the elders came back, George had two preachers there to talk to them. One of the preachers got so mad he left. But one stayed, and they all had dinner together, and the elders held their own with them. And thus, George W. and Mary and Linda were converted. The elders then began holding meetings at the kid house, and the people began shunning them. The Baptist church was built on land the grandmother kid donated, so George W. could get the church for the elders to hold meeting in, but only a few would come out. Once the elders held a conference there, and Mary made beds all over the house to make room for them. Their home was the only one where the elders were able to stay. At that conference, the Ku Klux Klan put a notice on the door while the meeting was going on, not to hold no more Mormon meetings there. George tore the notice off, and the elders held meetings there the next day. One morning when George went to the door, there were three willows at the door, which the clan had left. It meant they had just three days to get rid of the elders, or they would get killed. The horse's track was playing, and George W. came in and got his pistol, and told Mary he was going to track that horse home. Mary and the girls were crying because their father had a bad temper, and he was thoroughly angry. He followed the horse track home, right up to the fellow's house, and called him out and told them when they came to get the elders to bring a wagon with them, for some of them would go back in boxes. They never did come. In time, Walter and George C. left for Utah, and eventually most of the rest of the family joined them. Now we know how this beautiful family came to be gathered here in Logan, together with the George C. Kid family reunion. Okay. I'm on. Oh, time's up. <laughs>